confusion surrounded the Big Brother star after an announcement on her Twitter page said she had died unexpectedly. But there, TV personality later confirmed that her account had been hacked and she is, in fact, still alive. She also claimed that the person who wants to spoil her happiness is going to pay for it. Amid their heightened attention this morning, a clip of one of the TV personality's most iconic moments resurfaced online. In it, Rebecca, then known as Rodrigo, meets a woman dressed as the Queen. With the Channel 4 show well and truly pulling the wool over the star's eyes. The clip starts with the voiceover saying, This is Big Brother, would Rodrigo please be upstanding for Her Majesty's arrival? Completely fooled. Rodrigo, dressed in a full suit, says oh my god. Before Her Majesty walks into the room, dressed in a light pink outfit, she asks, Oh, are you the young gentleman Rodrigo? Clearly overwhelmed, there, Brazilian replies, Your Majesty. Very nice to meet you, I must say, the Queen says, standing to full attention. Rodrigo then belts out the national anthem while maintaining a salute throughout. Impressed by Rodrigo's rendition, the actress says, You knew all the words? Absolutely amazing. Thank you so much. I wonder if you could help assist me in my chair please? The contestant then walks around to assist the supposedly royal guest. Just a little push, thank you very much, indeed, she says. And since my usual servant isn't here, is it possible you can pour me a cup of tea, with just a wee drop of milk? It's very nice to see you. And with Rodrigo attending to her tea, the clip ends. The transgender star, who famously spoke about working as a prostitute and wanting to end her own life, found fame on the show in 2009 before starting to live as a woman in 2012, undergoing gender reassignment surgery two years later. Entering the house says Rodrigo in 2009, the student endeared herself to fans with her obsession with the Queen and British culture. She had been studying in Leeds and came fifth on the show. She later said she moved back to her native Brazil as she was lonely living.